Hello everyone. So for this L7 assignment, I will be going over learning outcome number three, which is to distinguish between primitive reflexes and partial reflexes. So with the primitive reflexes, the main purpose is to obtain nourishment and for self-protection, while the appearance is in the fetal and neonatal periods. And the postural reflex, on the other hand, the main purpose is to resemble later voluntary movements and aid upright positioning. While the appearance occurs during the neonatal period through early infancy. And for the primitive reflexes, there are three different types of reflexes. That's the moro and startle reflex, the search, also known as rooting and sucking reflex and the palmar mental and palmar mandibular reflexes. So with the moral reflex, that's for the extension and flexion phase. And the startle reflex, that's mainly for the flexion phase only. And the second one, which is the rooting and sucking reflexes, that happens during the expressive phase and the suction phase. So, and the third one, which is the palmar mental and mandibular reflexes, that is basically the hand and mouth reflex. And there's also different types of reflexes that occur during the primitive reflex, which is the palmar grasp reflex, the Babinski and plantar grasp reflexes, and the asymmetrical and symmetrical tonic neck, neck reflexes. And the postural reflexes, on the other hand, they include reflexes such as the labyrinthine riding reflexes, the pull-up reflexes, the parachute and propping reflexes, the neck and body riding reflexes, the crawling reflex, and the primary stepping reflex.